Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Black Moon Lilith square opposition or in conjunct one's natal Neptune. Now, when you have transits that involve the Black Moon Lilith, it can be about trauma, suffering, uh, the negative manifestation of the placement, uh, nefarious and fixated energy. And when you have basically, you're talking about. Um, and transit black moon Lilith is basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal Neptune. Well, I'm going to elaborate on that. Uh, the thing is, uh, when I say basically adverse aspect, okay, squares and oppositions, of course, those aspects are adverse and negative in astrology. Now, the in conjunct aspect, though it's neutral, uh, neutral aspects can have good and bad qualities, and coupled with the fact that it in conjunct can often require an adjustment or a transition. And that in turn, of course, can cause some exasperation and tension. So basically, collectively, <clears throat> excuse me, I do see this as an adverse transit. Now, anyway, when transit black moon wills basically makes an adverse aspect to one's natal Neptune, well, it may manifest in trauma, suffering, uh, the negative manifestation uh, of the placement of the sign, uh, nefarious and fixated energy. This may conflict with one's dreams and fantasies. It could be where if you're dealing, you know, naturally if you're dealing with physical suffering, it's going it to be harder to attain you know, what you want to do in terms of you know, your dreams, your fantasies. You know, um, but the transit, you know, Black Moon Lilith is in Scorpio, say it could be you know, some issue you know, with the colon, the prostate, the bladder, the reproductive system. You know, those problems may be causing uh, you at this time to, you know, maybe not be really in that mode or, or could to pursue your dreams. You know, the transit Black Moon Lilith in Gemini, there can be some physical trauma with the arms or the hands or the shoulders and nerves and if you have you know, any problems that are going on with the arms and hands naturally it's going to be harder to do many things because most things are going to require you know, some use of the arms and hands now the thing about it is um another thing too you know when you have um, you know, this transit it's also important to be careful not to become overly obsessed or fixated on attaining you know those dreams and those fantasies at this time and the thing about this too, um, the fact that the, again the black moon is being connected uh, can have a connection with physical trauma and stuff. You know, it might in Neptune can be about lethargy and sleepiness. It might be where well, this might be causing you know, a little bit more you know, fatigue at this time, more so than usual. And the black moon is can have a, a positive side to it that you can embrace if you're able to get past. With the negative element of it, but the thing is, when you have this transit, you know, basically making an adverse aspect to natal Neptune, you might be too feeling too lethargic or sleepy or tired to even do it, um, to even do that at this point uh, in time. Now, Neptune is also about our ideals, and the thing about it is, uh, you know, if that Black Moon is being connected with you know, formidable adversary, powerful enemies, this could be a time where you might not feel it's ideal, so to speak, to, to really you know, to even pursue any issue, you know, with this person at this point uh, in time. If you are dealing with somebody that's been you know, basically a figurative thorn in their side um, at this point in time, and the Black Moon is again connected with nefarious energy as well. And so naturally, if you're having this transit, you're dealing with some you know, very you know, negative energy safety of the, the transit black moon Lilith. Say if it's in uh, Aquarius and in your fifth house, your natal chart, it could be dealing with a very non-conforming, rebellious behavior from a child. And when you have it, you're dealing with these issues. Neptune can be connected with our sleep, our dreams, and it might even be harder to do that at this point in time, more so than usual. Um, when you're dealing with the negative energy that's associated with the transit of the Black Moon uh, Lilith, and the thing about this too is, uh, you know, the Black Moon Lilith can also um, you know, be about death. There's some of you, you know, out there maybe don't think the Black Moon Lilith is of much significance or importance or 
it doesn't have um, uh, much effect. But I will tell uh, you know tell you something um, something that's happened to me in fairly recent time. My mother um, passed away, and when she passed away, the transit of the Black Moon Loth um, was making a loose conjunction to my natal moon in Gemini. And the moon is about, can be about you know, family, and it's also connected with the mother. And uh, black moon wolves can have a connection with death that's comparable to Pluto and its energy. And you know, the fact that it, it, um, it made that, you know, trans, that could be an indicator of the death, um, you know, the death of a prominent woman in one's life, or even the mother. The moon is connected with the mother. The fact it was in Gemini. She didn't have a uh, Gemini sun moon or ascendant, but to me, in my perception, she embodied Gemini traits, very you know, fickle, mercurial, you know, loquacious personality. And so, don't think that the uh, you know the black moon also is insignificant. But anyway, I'm going off on a Gemini moon tangent. I want to also um, get into you now. Neptune is also about what we want to maybe dissolve or things that are d dissipating. You know, say if you have the natal Neptune in the um, in the seventh house in your chart, and you might be trying to dissolve some kind of could be a relationship, a marriage partner, um, and it might be you know a time where you know you're um, uh, you you might have trouble doing this if you're dealing with your own. You know, there might be suffering of a different nature. There might be some trauma. That you're dealing with on an emotional or physical level at this point in time and i'm going back to the black moon was having a connection with death if you're dealing with some death right now it might be doing something where it might be making you harder to sleep at this time you know neptune again is connected you know it could be connected with sleeping um, it's our dreams and you know, even if the death was something that took place years ago of some prominent person in your life scheme, it might be bothering you more now to a point where it might interfere with your relaxation. It could be your meditation, simply vegetating, relaxing, sleeping at this point in time. Now, another thing, too, is that anatomically speaking, Neptune is connected with the feet, the toes, the lymphatic and immune system. And the thing about this is too. Those things, if you are dealing with any of those issues currently, those things may be causing, it might be more traumatic, might be more uh, physical suffering that you may be enduring with those things at this point in time more so uh, than usual. Sometimes you could have, you know, some, I would say, you know, it would be psychosomatic, but it would, I believe, but it would be something where you, know, you could be dealing with some worrying incessantly, and it might be, could be exacerbating uh, you know, that pain as an example, or, you know, if there's some emotional trauma you're dealing with and it's causing worry and anxiety and upsetment, it could be exacerbate, ex sorry, exacerbating some physical issue with what I just described connected with uh, Neptune anatomically. And uh, the thing about this too is, um, you know, also, I'm sorry, Neptune, sorry about the shaky there. Um, Neptune is also connected with, um, with body fat um, as well. And the thing about this too is that if you're dealing with some, you know, physical suffering, there might be something where you might be putting on more weight. Um, at this time, uh, you know, maybe because of lethargy and because of the fact the pain, you know, they're the physical related manner might be causing some stagnation or inactivity to a point where you know, it, the body fat may be increasing if that is possible as far as body fat goes. Now, surrender. Now, Neptune is also about um, surrendering, and the thing is to um, if you're dealing with um, you know, some the situation you know right now in your life um, if you're dealing you know with the negative energy connected uh, you know with the black moon a little thumb you know it might be harder to really you know if you have to you know if you're trying to surrender yourself figuratively you know as far as a love situation maybe it's diff might be more difficult at this time more so than usual um, and another thing too is that now when you look at um this transit is uh you know neptune is about forgiveness as well and it might be more because you're talking about a basically adverse aspect 
or the Black Moon Loath, you know, may be such where, you know, Black Moon Loath is connected with, you know, people that play a provocative role in our life scheme, but it could also be, again, formidable adversaries. It might be harder to forgive those people at this time. And going back to surrendering, it might be, you know, where you're surrendering, maybe giving in somewhat. It could be to a, you know, to an enemy it could be well not necessarily an enemy it could be someone that simply plays a prominent role in your life it could be an argument you had and willing to give in and it might be more difficult to do so at this time more so than usual hold on a moment people now another thing too is neptune is also about isolation so if you're trying to hide from somebody that might be causing you problems again going back to the black moon laws having a connection with powerful enemies it might be a time where um, it might be harder to isolate yourself from that it might be a situation too where you might be overly fixated or obsessed with solitude or seclusion and isolation and just be careful that it doesn't that something like that doesn't go overboard you know you can't you know, run away from you know, your problems or at least not for you know forever or for too long and, but during this transit it might be something where you might be overly fixated on doing so or even going to your own fantasy world at this time now the neptune is also connected with the less fortunate than ourselves such as the uh, impoverished the homeless the hungry the oppressed and it might be a time or if you're dealing with some physical or emotional trauma it may be more difficult to help those uh, in situ you know, situations those that can't help themselves uh, at this uh, point in time and um, you know, if transit black moon is in Pisces in the eleventh house, as an example, you may have been you may be dealing with some emotional trauma due to deception or betrayal uh, by a friend at this time, as an example. And also, too, uh, Neptune is very it's nebulous and unclear, and it might be a time where you know, you're trying to get a read maybe on somebody that's playing a prominent role in your life. Maybe this person is somewhat nebulous or it's harder to figure out, you know, what's up with this person or the motives or intentions of him or her uh, at this point in time. And you might be dealing um, to where, um, I mean, again, going back to the black moon is being associated with death. And Neptune is about confusion. It might be a time where maybe you're, you're confused over it could be the manner of death of a person. Maybe you have some doubts as to a ruling of the death, or maybe you're just trying to under you know understand. It could be simply your feelings regarding somebody that may have a prominent person that passed away. Um, prime person in your life that passed away whatever it may be there may be some confusion regarding this person that um, that has passed away and another thing too is that again Neptune is connected with deception and uh, duplicity and you might be you know you, you have to be careful at this time people prominent your life people that play provocative role in your life scheme may be more deceptive uh, you know, than usual. Maybe there's some trauma, you know, physical related trauma you're dealing with, and maybe you're confused as to how, you know, how bad the situation is, and, you know, how, you know, how serious is it. Maybe you need, you feel like you're not sure whether to get another, I don't know, what's called like a diagnosis or analysis, like the second opinion on, on something. And again, Neptune is connected with escapism, so there may be difficulty in your attempt at this time. If you're trying to, you know, feel like you can escape, you know, some physical or, you know, emotional trauma, it may be harder to do so more uh, at this time. The physical trauma, you know, it's about reality and it's something where it might be more enduring than you really want it to be and, and, and there may be no escape from that at this point in time but anyway now another way this transit may manifest it could be where you might become overly fixated um, you know, with trying to attain dreams and fantasies at this time say if the natal neptune is an aquarius in the 10th house as an example it could be doing something you know, you know as an astronaut or an astrologer 
which is Aquarius, in order to gain notoriety and recognition, which is the tenth house. Now, it may also be it could also manifest in having um, a greater difficulty to keep what you want suppressed, uh, which is the Black Moon law from could be the less fortunate, the people that were imprisoned, um, which is um, Neptune. Now, let's say, for example, if the transit Black Moon Lilith is in Aries in the 12th house, it could be perhaps um, maybe some a volatile action you may have committed, um, which is Aries, a violent action um, led to imprisonment, which is the 12th house. But this is very isolated, of course. Now, also, to the trauma, which is the Black Moon Lilith, um, may adversely affect your inspiration, which is Neptune, to do things in general. Now, let's say, for example, if the natal Neptune is in Scorpio in the seventh house, um, being inspired perhaps to go beyond subterfuge and superficiality, which is Scorpio. And it could be with somebody that's a significant friendship, an important relationship in your life, which is the seventh house. Also, two people that are prominent in your life, which is the Black Moon Rose, may conflict with what you're trying to dissolve at this time, which is Neptune. Now, let's say, for example, if Neptune is in Virgo, natal Neptune is in Virgo in the fifth house, it could be a critical or judgmental, which is Virgo, could be a lover or a child at this time. So, and that's connected with the fifth house. Anyway, people, that'll uh, conclude. Uh, this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner saying stay well.